This is the house of an Adopt Me Pro that has been playing for over 1,000 days in Adopt Me. If you're excited to see the inside of the house and many other house tours for Adopt Me Pro, subscribe to this video so you guys can see more Adopt Me Pro house builds. But anyways, let's get straight into today's video. Hello everyone! Today I will be showing my house tour on my main account. This is all of the houses I have built on my main account, on my other accounts, and in my entirety of playing Adopt Me. I have a 1,316 day login streak. That's a very long time. I am an Adopt Me Pro. I've got a pretty loaded inventory and you can only imagine what it's like inside of the house of an Adopt Me Pro. Now I'm still not done with most of my houses, but I do gotta say that most of my houses are really, really nice looking. This one is my main luxury apartment home. Uh, this is the front foyer of it. Most people use this apartment home as like a hotel to make bucks, which is kind of what I was doing at first, but then I just kind of made it all into my house. So think of it as like I own a hotel, but I live in the entire hotel. But yeah, this is what the front entrance looks like. We got the check-in table right here. We got the wall behind it. We got all the walls with the windows, all the decorations on top. And then above us, we have this awesome skylight thing up here with all the, the uh, shrubbery up there. I think it looks really, really cool. This is definitely a grand entrance to the house. Um, in the hallways, I haven't done it yet because I have been renovating this house. This room used to be my pet raising area, but it is now closed and I'll fix that in the future. The first main room of my house is the potion room, aka the Halloween build. Basically, if you guys are unaware, we have these potions, these cauldrons right here. And I built a room so that I can just brew all of these cauldrons. So yeah, basically I built an entire room just to house these cauldrons in it, which are the big head potions, the hyper speed potions, and the anti-gravity potions, which you get from these cauldrons inside of your house. So I built like a little cauldron chamber over here and a whole room to kind of go around it, a very Halloween themed room that I can use during Halloween for like a Halloween themed party, but mainly I just use to store my cauldrons so that I can brew potions in my special witch's layer Halloween room. Yeah, this definitely looks very Halloween-like and spooky. I love it very much. I am looking to build like a Christmas-themed room in the future as well, because I do not have one yet. Maybe a desert-themed room as well for my desert pets, like my Mega Neon Roadrunner, which is definitely my favorite pet in the game. But anyways, let's go on to the next floor of my luxury apartments. And that's about it for my luxury apartments. I've built this room. This room was the first room I built in this house. It is the oldest, so it doesn't look as fancy, but it is still pretty nice. This is a great pet raising area over here. Um, obviously, it is pet raising. We have all of these pet raising things over here. We have a little elevated area where we have our beds, our baths, our food and water bowls, and the same little thing over here. Also, in this room, this room is built by my friends over here was built by Summer and Sweet Puppy. This room is awesome. I believe they said that they used a speed build off of this. Uh, I'm not too sure which speed build, but that's all that they told me. And then I built a little overflow pet raising room over here. Uh, nothing too special, but anyways, that's about it for my luxury apartment house. I still have three floors and the basement pool floor that is not built yet, and I'm really looking forward to building that in the future. But yeah, this is my main house that I live in as an Adopt Me Pro in Adopt Me. But we still have many more houses left, so let's go ahead and move on to house number two. House number two, this is my Hollywood home that I built for my 2024 free to play Noob to Pro Adopt Me Challenge. If you haven't watched that series, I highly recommend it. I showed you how a noob, starting with the starter egg, can get all the way up to an arctic reindeer and a lot more just in 30 days. I really love doing that challenge and part of that challenge we built a house and the next two houses, this house and the house after, are from the free to play series. This house is from the 2024 Noob to Pro series, and the next house is from the 2023 Noob to Pro series. But anyways, this is the movie theater house. I did modify this house quite a bit. This house originally has a very wide open room right here, but I kind of condensed it down into like a little hallway with an amazing entryway here. This is very similar to my main luxury apartment build. This is my regular building style, so this is how all my houses will pretty much be. I love the way that this entrance looks. Um, 
I absolutely love it. I also haven't changed these signs yet because I did just trade it with my uh, free to play account as well. This is my little pet raising room over here as well. I never really did get to make it nicer by more um, pet things as well, which I did want to do in that challenge, but I did run out of bucks towards the end and prioritized on um, getting garden eggs. So I definitely recommend you watch that series as well. I did two videos, day 24 and day 26 of me building this house. So I highly recommend that you watch that speed build because it is really nice. Um, next up, we have the concession area over here. This little spot, this little podium is where I uh, showed my best pet of the challenge, which was Arctic Reindeer, but I did give everything away from that challenge. Um, so yeah, there's just a little, um, what's that pet called? Evil Unicorn that I had on my main account for a very long time. Uh, but anyways, this is my snack area over here. This is where people buy concessions so that they can get a nice, wonderful snack while they watch the show over there. But yeah, I love it right here. This popcorn machine was built by a speed builder. I will post that video in the comment section. And everything else here I built on my own. So yeah, I love this concession bar area as well. Next up, actually going into the auditorium here. That used to say auditorium. I just got to change that back later. This, oh gosh, that's really messed up. This is the Pets Got Talent area. This said Pets Got Talent, and this was the four X's like you would see on America's Got Talent or any Got Talent show. But anyways, yeah, this is the auditorium. It looks pretty nice. We have a little voting booth over here. Um, and we have an area where people can perform. I will move this table in the future as well. But yeah, this is my awesome house, my awesome movie theater home, as I call it. We have one auditorium so far. I am looking to build more in the future, but this is house number two of a Adopt Me Pro's house. On to house number three of an Adopt Me Pro, we have this Dragon Castle house. Now the Dragon Castle house is one of the weirdest houses to build in because of the weird shape of it. It's like a giant circular room in the bottom. So I split it up into like four or three, yeah, four different rooms. And I'm going to take you guys through all of the rooms. Now this is normally a very big house, but I made this house into four little rooms to kind of break it up. And I didn't build in the upper level as well because I didn't really know what to do with the upper level. But this is the entrance of my house. This is my favorite entryway of the house out of all of the houses. I love it. And I displayed my Longhorn right here, my Neon Longhorn, which I am planning to make Mega Neon as well. But yeah, this is the entrance of my house. I really love it. I love this little water thing as well. This was inspired by a speed build as well. I did not copy the speed build exactly. Exactly, but it was inspired by a speed build. I love it. This is a great entrance to a house. On my left over here, when you walk into the house, we have the pet raising room. Very small little pet raising room, but it does have everything that we possibly need. We have two whole areas of pet raising area. We have two beds, two baths, and a pet and water food bowl as well. So yeah, this is a pretty awesome food room as well, a pet raising room. We have our water fountain. We have some donuts. We have uh, some food and some drinks as well. So definitely a good room. And speaking of food and drinks, we have an awesome little kitchen over here. So I have no idea how that got up there, but that used to go right here. Fixed. Okay, awesome. Yeah, so this is my kitchen over here. I love this kitchen a lot. Uh, the signs are still messed up because I did just trade these houses to my main account so I can show you. But yeah, anyways, this was my house for my free-to-play series from 2023. I built this house over like four or five episodes, I think. I spent longer to build this house for some reason. Um, it did take me longer because it was more inexperienced in building. But anyways, I love this house. This is one of the first speed build homes I've ever done, and I love it so much. We do got one room left over here. This is another Halloween room. I love building these Halloween rooms so much. Halloween is definitely my favorite season, as you guys can see by my Shadow Dragon as well. I love Halloween. I like everything Halloween themed. And I did build these cauldrons in this house as well. Fun fact as well, I built this cauldron house here first, and then I transitioned that same cauldron theme into my main house and built a more larger, like whole floor basically, all dedicated to the cauldron brewing. So I love this house. This is definitely one of my favorite houses. Let's go and see the outside one more time. This is the Dragon Sky Castle once again. I love this house as well. And let's go ahead and look at the one final house I have as an Adopt Me Pro. I do just want to mention as well that I have quite a bit of houses. I just haven't really built much in all of the houses as well. 
Um, for example, the house I'm going to show you right now, my millionaire mansion. Uh, I'm not sure how I got this house or what it was from, but this house is not built at all. I just built this for my party house so that I can have a really, really fun party. Uh, one more Pets Got Talent area as well. I also built this pet raising room. This was from a speed build as well on YouTube. Um, but yeah, that's not really my main priority here. I built one room out of this house, and it is the outside of this area. And as you guys can see, it is another auditorium looking place as well. This is the original Pets Got Talent area that I ever built. Uh, this was inspired by America's Got Talent, obviously. As you guys can see, Pets Got Talent. Uh, I had a prize, like I did like many parties, I think I even did a YouTube video on it as well when this stuff first came out, this uh, voting booth and these voting paddles as well. Yeah, when this first came out I did a YouTube video on it, I had a party and it was so much fun, I even gave out a prize for this cute little Pets Got Talent area. I even built a little dressing room over here as well and I had a theme board so I can show like what the theme is so people can dress their pets. So like for example, splash of color. So let's get out a pet that we can see has a splash of color. So I'm gonna get out a Drake right here. And usually I would do this in the dressing room, but uh, might as well do it here as well. So this Drake is gonna have a taco on its back. It's gonna have some hamburger shoes. It's gonna have, actually let's take off the taco. It's gonna have the little uh, Easter basket on its back as well, but yeah, this is what like a person would do at my party This is splash of color right here the pride headphones anything else that maybe we can do this flower necklace right here Awesome, so this will definitely go for the theme splash of color. This is what people did at my party They would go on the stage show off their pet and its cute little costume as well I absolutely love this party very much and yeah, this is one of my favorite builds ever uh, it might not be a giant build, it, it also might not be like the prettiest build, but it is a very, very nice little build. One of my first like party houses, I guess you can say, but yeah, this is it to this house. And, and before we get off with today's video, I do want to show you one very special thing in one of my other houses real fast. And this is where it begins for every noob in Adopt Me. Before you become an Adopt Me Pro, you have to start off as an Adopt Me noob. And when I started off as an Adopt Me noob, I had this starter house, obviously, like every other noob. But I've got something very special and very rare in this house that can no longer be obtained in Adopt Me now, which is why I want to show you guys. This house is not built up all nicely like my other houses, but we have this, a 2019 Christmas tree with a whole bunch of presents and ornaments on it. Oh my goodness, this is so rare, so awesome. I did not even realize I had this until just a few minutes ago before I started recording this video. Basically, the Christmas tree, I'm not even sure if you can still get it anymore. I don't think you can. But anyways, they had this Christmas tree, it was free, and the more that you played or the more that you did tasks or something, I'm, I'm not quite sure how it worked. But you got more ornaments, you got presents under the tree, and you got to decorate your tree like this, and the more ornaments and presents you had, the more rare it was. And you can no longer get this, you can no longer decorate the tree, but I have this tree. So yeah, this is my super old, my starter home in Adopt Me. And yeah, this is what it looks like, the super old 2019 Christmas tree. I'm so surprised that I still have it, and I'm never going to delete this house just like any of my other houses. Also, my houses in this video are not up for trade. I just wanted to show you guys them uh, to see kind of what a pro Adopt Me player's house would look like. I thought it would be pretty cool. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, definitely subscribe and comment in the comment section below if you have any houses to show as well. Because I definitely want to see you guys' houses as well for all of those Adopt Me Pro builders out there. But anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. I had a blast filming this video. And I sure hope that you guys learned some building tips. Also, got to experience what it was like to see in Adopt Me Pro's houses. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. This has been the Feral Daryl That Plays. Goodbye.